Hi everybody, this is the Math 20 Trigonometry Review and this is question one. Uh, we're going to do all of question one together in, in one, uh, one little video here just because these are very, very quick questions. We're going to sketch each of the following angles in standard position and state the quadrants in which the terminal arm lies for each. Now when we say sketch, there's really just a couple of things that I need, uh, we need to make sure are, are correct here. First of all, I want the terminal arm, okay, in the right quadrant. Okay, terminal arm in the right quadrant, and then what I need is I need the, the line of the angle. Okay, and I'll explain that in just a second here, but these are the two things I need. I need that terminal arm and I need to be in the right quadrant. I don't care if, kind of where it is, and I need that line of the angle. So for example, 135, okay, bearing in mind that this is zero degrees and we're rotating counterclockwise here, that's 90 degrees, 180 degrees, to, uh, 270 degrees up to 360 again. So 135 degrees is going to put us in quadrant two. Okay, now it doesn't have to be in exactly the right position there, but it just needs to be in quadrant two. And then this is what I need. I need that line there to show me the angle being measured from the positive x-axis counterclockwise out to the terminal arm. That's what I need. So then the answer here is this is in quadrant two. For B, for 300 degrees, uh, again, knowing that this is zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, out to 360, that means my terminal arm here for that angle would have to be somewhere in the fourth quadrant. Okay, I already know it's going to be the fourth quadrant, but I need this line of the angle to show me what angle it is that I'm, I'm using here. Because remember, uh, we should have discussed this in class at this point, that there are really an infinite number of angles that can be drawn to go out to this terminal arm. This is giving me, or this is illustrating for me, the one that I'm intending by 300. Coming over here to 190 degrees, Again, bearing in mind that this is zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. I can see from this that 190 will be between 180 and 270. Now, I don't need this to be right close to 180. It will be right close to 180. 190 degrees is just a little bit beyond 180. I, but I just need this to uh, be in the right quadrant, quadrant three, okay? And again, I gotta draw that angle, that line of the angle so that I know what angle I'm referring to. And then lastly here, 70. Remember this is zero degrees, this is 90 degrees. I mean right there, having identified those, I know that my angle is going to be in the first quadrant. And again, the line of my angle is just going to look like this. Okay, the first quadrant angles are always the, the nicest ones. Those are the ones that we're most familiar with.